sons of light they're not spiritually asleep hallelujah they don't sleep as others do it says but let us watch and be sober for those who sleep sleep at night spiritually speaking and those who get drunk are drunk at night in other words they're they're in the dark <laughs> they're in the dark but let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and let and and as a helmet the hope of salvation see 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 because you can come under the drunkenness of darkness it can it can it can skew your perception just like natural spirits alcohol see that's the thing and that's another thing and that's for a whole nother day people don't understand that when they consume alcohol or spirits they're opening gateways to for spirits to come and manifest through them and I, I, I you know of course my kid I was an alcoholic and so I had to be under the influence of that spirit because that spirit made me feel good in that moment but even people who say well I do it in moderation well who sets the boundary in moderation you Because the moment you partake of spirits, because when you go to that store, it says wine and what? That's exactly what it is. The moment you partake, you're opening a doorway for spirits to come. Anyways, so it's the same thing spiritually when you get you can get drunk on darkness. Hello, what do you mean by that, Pastor? It means that, that your your senses become, you know, your spiritual senses get skewed. You can't see right. You can't see the day that is at hand because you're drunk off darkness. You've allowed darkness to influence you. You've come under the influence of darkness. And now your spiritual senses are like, well, I don't know. You, you, what happens? What happens when someone gets extremely drunk? They, they pass out. What happens to your spiritual senses? They, 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 they dry up. They go to sleep. And you think, and what, is, what can happen is now you can turn on an artificial light. And how do you do that? Well, trying to justify sin. Oh, I know this is not a popular message. So you don't hear messages in the church about sin, about living right, about living holy, about living for God. But I'm sorry, well, I'm not one of those churches. We believe. Amen. The word of God. Amen. And so, so you become, uh, uh, you know, spiritually drunk by, by the darkness, under the influence. You can't make the right decisions. You can't make the right choices. Come on now. Hello, is anybody here tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he says, you, it's not so with you. You are children of the day. You are alive. Come on. You are alert. You are sober spiritually. You Why? Because you've learned to exercise your spiritual senses according to Hebrews chapter 4. Or in Hebrews chapter 6. He says you've, you've exercised your senses and you're able to discern good and evil. But if you're under the influence of darkness and you've gone to sleep spiritually... You cannot discern good and evil. But you mix the two and you make think one is the other. Calling good evil and evil good. And the scripture says, uh, call it making light darkness and darkness light. And that's what ha happens when you become spiritually inebriated by darkness.